Scott, thank you. Love seeing that snow behind you, buddy. Now we go from North Jersey to the shore. Heavy rain, strong winds pummeling the coast. Two sections of Tom's River dealing with separate elements of the storm. Tidal flooding and beach erosion. News 12 New Jersey's Jim Murdoch along Route 35 in the Chadwick Beach section where, Jim, you had to turn around. Uh, you couldn't drive through some floodwaters? Absolutely no way were, was I going to try to get my little Honda Civic Sport through this here on Route 35 southbound. Uh, but parts of Barnegate Bay Island have turned into the swamp buggy races here this afternoon. This is all tidal flooding. This comes with island life. People have to live here. They work here. They're trying to get through. Here comes a... Uh, uh, a van barreling his way through this flooded waters. And again, low lying sections vulnerable to the tidal flooding. More dramatic images perhaps coming from Ortley Beach this morning as the huge waves and strong easterly winds further eroded a section of vulnerable dunes between 7th Avenue on north for several blocks. It's been a problem spot since the Army Corps of Engineers replenished these beaches. The town spent a half million dollars of its own money on touch up spots. Now cliffs as high as 15 feet have returned to an already eroded beach from the last storm in October. We spoke with the mayor and engineer about this latest storm. We've lost a portion of the dune, 35 to 40 percent of the dune. The good news is the system is holding and doing what it's supposed to do, so we don't have any damage inland. Without that dune before, the waves used to break at the boardwalk, so uh, it's doing its job. And the 500000 we've spent has been over a couple years. Um, you know, to pave this road and, and the infrastructure, this road probably costs more than that. So to spend a couple hundred thousand in the course of a year, it, it, I hate to say it this way, but it's almost a cost of business. The town has also raised several roads where they can prevent tidal flooding like this. As fast as the water comes up, it will recede, but not before creating annoying detours and blocking the way for low profile vehicles like the one I happen to drive. Let's come back here. A couple more vehicles trying to make their way through flooded Route 35 South. Now, the next round of federal beach replenishment is scheduled to begin here in Northern Ocean County this spring and last right through the summer into the fall. So these towns are hoping certainly for no more coastal storms. As we watch more vehicles try to make their way through flooded Route 35, I'm Jim Murdoch here in Tom's River for News 12, New Jersey. All right, Jim.